Hi everyone. Well, it's time for me to check in with my April statistics for my wellness journal. As you know, I started this back in January, just trying to take control of my life again, trying to get back into some kind of physical activity without um, really my doctor's permission because she didn't think I was ready. But I just found myself just getting worse and worse. And I felt that it was my decision that I needed to try to take control of my fitness level and just taking some baby steps without doing any damage to my heart or anything else. So anyway, we've been doing pretty good these past few months, but it's time for me to check in for my April statistics. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. And I wanna thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. And of course your comments, of course, are always welcome. I would love to hear how you are doing on your fitness and wellness journeys if you're doing that. And um, yeah, and the thumbs up always helps make my channel grow too. So I appreciate it so much. So. Thanks again. So again, we are doing Wellness Wednesday, and this is something that I got back into in January, just trying to take control over my fitness again, because I was going nowhere. I was going nowhere fast. I could not get permission from my doctor to get back into a physical exercise routine or how when I think after Rick had his fifth heart attack, his doctor had subscribed PT for him and it was at a gym where you wore electrodes and things like that and they could monitor you and let you know to slow down or whatever. There was someone, if you ran into any kind of trouble, someone was there to help you and she kept saying I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. But the more I sat and did nothing, the worse I was getting. So in January, I said, you know, I can't live like this. I'm going to take baby steps. I'm not going to do anything rash. I'm not going to go crazy. I want to get back into fitness. I want to do it slowly. I need to build it up. And I did not want to do any more damage to my heart or my lungs from my health issues. But anyway, but I think I've been going in the right direction. I'm feeling so much better. I can go a little bit longer, um, whether I'm walking like things like that and just talking, I'm not running out of breath as much. So I think I'm making improvements and going in the right direction. But I did want to document it in my wellness journal. So, and that's, um, and just kind of keeping track of it and being accountable is what's helping as well. So anyway, one of the first things that I did when I decided to get my happy plan of the wellness journal, I wanted to get a little sticker kit. I didn't want the full kits that I was getting and doing in my, my big planner, but I wanted a little one and I saw someone do the fabulous planner and I ended up getting that. I just sized down to get the smaller one because I really don't need the extra items in the big one. So this is $24.99 a month. The other one was $30.99 shipping uh, was extra. And this one, I get like nine to 10 items. And the bigger one, I got 10 to 12 items. Alrighty, so first let's get into this and just see what kind of goodies I'm going to be able to use in my fitness planner. So we get this little pamphlet here, this little brochure or whatever, um, that tells us everything that's in the kit, whether you are getting the full one, the luxury one, or the classic one. Alrighty, and then just tissue paper here to make it look like you're getting yourself a nice gift. And I did take almost everything out of the cellophane because my microphone does pick up on the cellophane noises. Alrighty, so this first thing that I have in here, I'm not really sure what I would do with it. It's this little paper like this. It does have like notebook holes, but it says I can do it in a place to write something and then some numbers like a bingo type chart. So I don't know if you use this maybe to write down maybe water and you put down the day that you did it, maybe how many drinks you had or whatever. I'm really not sure what the purpose of this is. So more than likely I will not be using this, but that's okay. The next thing that we got in here is these little sticker markers. 
So they're in this little dispenser, and it does lift up. Each one lifts up like this, and then the sticky part is underneath, which you can use to bookmark anything. If you're reading a book and you want to just save that page, or there's something that you wanted to go back and reread, you could maybe write on this and do this or whatever. So these just come in handy for keeping places and journals or going to a specific page that you wanted to go back to. We got a whole bunch of these stickers and they do send you a lot of stickers. I left these in the pack because there's just so many and usually when I go to show them, I make a mess. But again, you can see the thickness here, how many stickers that are here. So just the motivational things that you can put in your wellness journal or a regular planner. You can use this for a happy meal. Best Monday, more summer. I can't wait for that one, right? But anyway, just all kinds of stickers that you can get in here. Motivational stickers, fun stickers. The next thing we got is this kind of bullet washi tape. So these little dots, each one of these dots comes off. So like in my wellness journal, we I'll put a place for what my temperature was, what my oxygen level was, what my... Um, blood pressure is, how many steps I did. So these things, if you wanted to kind of keep it nice and order, you could put these by each thing that you wanted to bullet stand out. And each one of these dots comes off singularly. They also sent a uh, washi tape called Numbers. So this would come in handy, whoops, upside down. If you maybe, you know how like at the end of the year, like right now they're doing like the 93 um, planners and things like that. But if they also have like maybe ones that are 92, 2022 ones, and also undated planners that are a little bit cheaper. So if you had an old planner that you didn't use and you said, you know, I'm going to dig it out of my closet and use it. You can just use these to put the right dates on them. So it started at 10, it goes to 31, and then it goes back to starting at 1 again. So this will come in handy for those kind of uses. We also got this deco sticker kit. I took a few of these out to show you. It's 15 pieces in here. And these are really good for scrapbooking, probably maybe even using in my planner. There's an adhesive on the back that you take off and then it's clear in the middle. So it's like a little frame. If you wanted to put it around a picture just to highlight it, just kind of make it fun. So we got a couple of different shapes, a couple of different colors in here. So again, those will be really fun. I did use these type things when I did scrapbooking and they just were a lot of fun. They added some fun to the day. They also sent a headband. This one has like silicone inside. So that's probably more for doing a headband like this if you are doing a lot of physical activity and you wanna need something to catch the sweat. I think those would be good. But I suppose just using it around, uh, you have like a regular headband, maybe this will kinda keep it around your neck and kind of keep it from slipping as well. We've got the stickers of the month. So we've got four sheets of stickers to use in the wellness journal. So enjoying that. And these are like fitness themed ones. So this should be fun to use in a wellness journal. And the last item in here is this pen. It's got a little black epoxy flower right there. And it is a twist. So let me see if I can write on something here to see what it looks like. Alrighty. So it does write nice. So that was everything in my fabulous planner that I got this month. Also, Miss Ellie. You know, I love using my Miss Ellie. I'm grandfathered in for the $44.95 for the three athleisure wear items, but the, right now they do have that one and it's $49.95. I will have a link below, so if this is something you are interested in, you would get 25% off your first box and then I would get $10 to use on any additional items. So I'm actually wearing a Miss Ellie outfit right now. This is the one I think from February. Alrighty, yeah, February or March. This was called the black tie. So it's uh, the, just a regular black leggings. It's got a nice wide white waistband. The sports bra is what I'm wearing here. It kind of fits me like a tank. And it's again, it's black and white. It came with a white sweatshirt, but I, it's 73. I didn't need a top on today. Well, 
after this but just to film I put on one of my Miss Ellie jackets so anyway this is what this one looks like I don't think I tried it on for you before or I didn't show it or I probably just had that on again these kind of the long bras just kind of fit me like a tank and I like the way it kind of goes to a V so it's kind of slimming at the same time but it's very very comfortable so the item I got for April was a skirt. I've got a skirt coming for me too so I'm really excited about that so this was called floral garden and it's like maybe like fuchsia or a cranberry. We've got peach, we've got olive greens and dark greens and kind of like a cream colored background. It's got the nice wide waistband here in front. The back, I'm not sure if it's gonna show, but you can see it's got a different stitching right in here. And the shorts that are underneath are the same pattern as this. I know a lot of times you get these in the, the, the skirt the short part is like a white or something, but it's the same material. It's by Marika. It's a really nice brand. It's got some nice stretch. It's a nice quality item as well. This one also came with that longer type sports bra. So again, because I am short-waisted, it fits me like a tank. And it's the same material. The back has that crisscross action right there. So again, this will be a pretty little outfit to wear when it gets a little bit warmer. And the top on this one is a peach color tank. So that's the back and that's the front of it. The sides on this, I don't know if it, you're going to be able to see it, but it kind of goes down like a triangle and it looks like a pattern, but it actually is like um, mesh, almost like a mesh. So it's breathable. So anyway, that just kind of gives a, a nice little detail right there. And I'll put some pictures of that at the end from the website. And um, But they are just really, really comfortable. Whether you go to a class um, at a gym or something, or you walk around your neighborhood, or just doing DVDs, or doing a treadmill, things like that at home. Even just they're comfortable for just relaxing or going to the store or anything like that. It just they are just it's a nice quality. Really, really love it. Alrighty, so now let's get into the wellness journal. And again, I've really been enjoying using this. I did start it in January and just kind of taking baby steps, keeping different tracks of things that I thought were important enough for me to keep track of in case I do have any issues. I've got um, a record of what I did that I can show my doctor as well. And um, because last month I did kind of take that time out of work when our my family was here, we had our oldest daughter, Raina, come out with her husband, Jeremy, and their two children, well, teenagers, uh, Maddie, Matt, and Quinn. And we had a fabulous time, but I didn't get to like work on my uh, under desk elliptical or anything like that. I kind of took time off from that, from worrying about temperatures and blood pressures and things like that. I felt fine, so I didn't think it was anything I really needed to monitor. So my numbers are going to be down a little bit. We did uh, do a lot of walking though, so I thought I would have more steps on my Fitbit, but it, it was probably balanced because we did sit around a lot. We went out to eat. We sat on that magic couch where people fall asleep and we watched um, some different Hulu series and some Netflix series and the things on YouTube that the kids like to watch with people crashing cars and doing funky things like that. So we did do a lot of sitting as well, but anyway, I still feel like um, it was important for me to monitor what I did. So I'll just kind of briefly show you the weeks here in, in March. No, I want to do April, right? We're doing April. Alrighty, so the front of April, and I, I don't always show you these pages, but this is uh, just important. The way you speak to yourself matters, because I think sometimes we are our own worst critics and enemies, and we're sometimes ni nicer to complete strangers than we are to ourselves. Alrighty, so again, I just used different kits that I got from the Fabulous Planner, and you can see I've got different items in here that I felt I should keep track of, and again another week 
And again, I don't really do anything too much on the weekends as far as fitness. Eventually, when I get to that point, I will be loving maybe to do a DVD or something on those days like that. Or if I do decide to work on the weekends again, which I haven't in a while. I know, that's pretty good. Um, I would use the under desk elliptical. And then I didn't have anything for the days that I took off from work for vacation. So again, that was really important to me to kind of keep track of all this. I've also got my summary at the bottom or the last page here. So I've got my February, my March, my April totals. I also mentioned that um, in April I started doing some added handwork um, or arm work with one of the bands that I got from Leslie Sansound, one of her walk aerobics DVD kits. Love, 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 love doing that. I cannot wait to be able to do her DVDs again. It's like you're you don't really need much space. You're like, you just maybe need four feet in front of the TV, a clear space where you walk in place. You go frontwards, you go backwards, you do some side steps. Maybe you do some leg raises and things like that. And the next thing you know, you're huffing, you're puffing, you're exercising, and you didn't even know it. But anyway, one of her things that she did was she included some an arm resistance band. So I've just been doing a few different exercises with those. Uh, maybe I will, because I forgot to take it in here, maybe I'll put it at the end if this doesn't run too long. But I started adding, adding a couple of reps every day, just four different exercises, one time each. And by the last week in April, I increased it to do two reps. Alrighty, so these are the figures right here if I can get this close enough to read. So I won't do February, but we will do March. So in March, I had 136,280 steps on the elliptical. This month, and again, I did take some time off. It was 110,924. I did like 26.7 hours on the elliptical last month and 20.6 hours this month. Uh, the miles I did, I had 54.39 miles last month. And for April, I had 44.29 miles. The Fitbit, last month I had 84,004 steps. And this April, I only had 85,961. I really thought that was going to really be impressive this month, but anyway um it went up a little bit um i didn't really make any giant strides this month but you know the biggest stride was something that's not here is i was able to go to the mall of america with with the kids and rainer of course and jeremy and we went to a couple of different outlet malls and i may have had to take a break here and there or kind of slow down but i was able to pretty much keep up and that is something uh, beginning of the year if they had come January, February, or March, I would not have been able to do that. So I am happy that I kind of took control of my own fitness here because otherwise I would be even worse than I was in January. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. Again, I think we'd love to hear your thoughts if you keep a wellness journal and what you keep in there and how you feel like you're doing and um, your comments. Of course, I love reading your comments and thumbs up are always great. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate you guys. And um, I love you guys so much. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life. I hope you guys go out. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you in our next video.